Welcome to my presentation. Today we'll discuss variance inflation factor using Excel, which is a very effective tool to find out the appropriate input variables for any mathematical modeling, spatially artificial neural network, support vector regression, and ANFIS. It is not always important that all the variables will influence in a model. Rather, it can be noisy. It can be overtrained, and so that you know, finding some appropriate variables of any model is very important. And variance inflation factor is such a tool which really you know pick up some important variables that will be utilized, that will be used in a model. So we are here to manually calculate the variance inflation factor using Excel. So let's go to our work. This is my input variables of a specific river here we are going to predict dissolved oxygen using artificial neural network and those are my input variables okay so to do the, do that you know what we need to do is go to data analysis which is add-ins you know let me show you how we can calculate we can find out the data analysis you know pick a file and then option go to add-ins and pick analysis tool pack and pick go okay you will see some other add-ins which are available in your excel then we will pick that analysis tool pack tick ok okay so tick data analysis descriptive statistics summary statistics and select all your variables all your variables all your input variables okay level in first first row okay so this is my summary statistics mean standard deviation median mode okay so, sorry this is standard error minimum maximum sum count you know, total you know total amount okay so uh, we need to just you know continuous uh, we just we just need to remove all other you know headlines so we are just copying in the variables name and that pasting it is a continuous second column then you are selecting all those column having the titles of individual variables okay just delete okay so this is my summary statistics and this is my standard deviation okay standard deviation Okay, just I'm going to highlight it again in my data sheet again go to data analysis select regression in y axis select the variables which we are supposed to predict this is the x range that is all the independent variables okay pick levels and you can avoid the residual and line feed plots okay so tick ok this is the overall regression model okay here this is the standard error this is the standard error this is n minus 1 and this is the standard error of the individual variables okay so what we need to do is you know we are going to manually calculate the variance inflation factor and this is the rules of uh, mathematical rules of uh, variance inflation factor which is standard error of individual variables square into uh, you know times n minus 1 that is total observation minus 1 that is 119 and standard deviation square divided by overall standard error this is 2.169855 square okay so here mm, you know this is we see that uh, standard deviation is important so std DEV we are writing over there and going to my sheet the, which is uh, you know calculating the overall uh, standard deviation this is the standard deviation okay copy it uh, look this is row wise so we are going to paste it in uh, you know column wise so we have to transpose it 
uh, that is this is my uh, standard deviation okay we're finding the standard deviation now we will have a uh, variance inflation factor and we know the mathematical rules that is uh, you know type sum bracket standard error okay square times n minus 1 this is 119 119 into standard deviation this is the standard deviation square square bracket close and again divided by overall standard this is the overall standard error okay square square this is the 2.06 now look uh, in every calculation you know b14 that is b14 is uh, 119 is is a fixed value similarly v7 is also a fixed value so we can log them like you know if i paste it in column wise then it will not be changed but the other variables like standard deviation will be changed and the corresponding standard error will also be changed you know so that uh, we can lock uh, those uh, cells and other will be open so they will be changed but this cell will not be changed there is the point actually okay so lock and then we are going to paste it so this is the overall uh, variance inflation factor and we are seeing we see that uh, alkalinity uh, phosphate or uh, you know uh, total solid and uh, potassium has a very influential uh, effect in data modeling so i wish uh, your this presentation is helpful to you and uh, thanks for watching my channel and i wish you will inspire us will like share or you know comment you know so that the we can we can add more videos more tutorial for you thank you very much